Hello again. Like most people over a certain age, my family background is military. What I mean by this is my father, my uncles and both my grandfathers were in the army. They didn't choose this as a career though and nor were they conscripted. They all of them volunteered as soon as war was declared and they realised that their country needed them. As it happens, they were lucky because none of them were killed. One of my grandfathers had terrible trouble with his lungs after being gassed in 1915 and the other had a limp from stopping a bullet in his leg. But they both served from 1914 to 1918 and survived. I grew up hearing about uh, battles like Passchendaele and the Somme and also from my father about the struggle for Burma which nearly fell into the hand of the Japanese. As I say, I'm guessing that most people of my age whose family are British have similar stories in their families. There were uh, members of my family though who were killed both during the last war and in the Great War as well. These are great uncles and second cousins and that kind of thing. I don't think it does any harm to spend just a few minutes each year thinking of their sacrifice and remembering their names. I wonder if the young men in this country would be so swift in signing up if war were to be declared tomorrow. I suspect that they would not. In 1914 recruiting officers were besieged with men eager to fight for their country but I just can't see that happening these days. Even the national anthem is held to be controversial and patriotism apparently entails endorsing all manner of evils from past centuries. The average young Englishman today actually feels ashamed of his country and has been taught to feel that the very act of being white is somehow an affront to international justice. I rather think that many of the younger generation would be more likely to side with the country's enemies than they would be to find their way to the recruiting office. Once we reach such a state of affairs, then it really does seem as though there's very little hope for the country. In a world where the very idea of the nation state is treated with suspicion and everybody is supposed to be citizens of the world rather than members of this or that nationality, why would you choose to fight for one particular country over another? Guess what though? People who think like that are quite wrong. Some countries are much better than others and this country is better than most. If people do not feel that Britain is worth hazarding one's life for, then I really don't know what they're doing here. So it is that at 11 o'clock this morning, we remember those who did think their country worth fighting for, to the extent that they gave their lives for it. That, I think, is worth remembering. <laughs>